And Howard, and the reason we thought that, in other words, people in the cooking world were looking for cooking universals. They were looking for one way to treat all of us. And it's good reason for them to be obsessed with the idea of universals because all of science through the 19th century and much of the 20th was obsessed with universals. Psychologists, medical scientists, economics, e economists were all interested in finding out the rules that govern the way all of us behave. But that changed, right? That's, what is the great revolution in science of the last 10, 15 years? It is the movement from the search for universals to the understanding of variability. Now in medical science, we don't want to know how necessarily, just how cancer works. We want to know how your cancer is different from my cancer. I guess my cancer is different from your cancer. We're interested in, genetics has opened the door to the study of human variability. What Howard Moskowitz was doing was saying, this same revolution needs to happen in the world of tomato sauce. And for that, we owe him a great vote of thanks. I'll give you one last illustration of variability. And that is, and, oh, I'm sorry, Howard not only believed that, but he took it a second step, which was to say that when we pursue universal principles in food, we aren't just making an error, we are actually doing ourselves a massive disservice. And the example he used was coffee. And coffee is uh, something he did a lot of work with, with Nescafe. <clears throat> if I were to ask all of you to try and come up with a brand of coffee, a type of coffee, a brew, that made all of you happy, and then I ask you to rate that coffee, the average score in this room for coffee would be about 60 on a scale of 0 to 100. If, however, you allowed me to break you into coffee clusters, maybe three or four coffee clusters, and I could make coffee just for one of those, for each of those individual clusters, your scores would go from 60 to 75 or 78. The difference between coffee at 60 and coffee at 78 is a difference between coffee that makes you wince and coffee that makes you deliriously happy. That is the final and I think most beautiful lesson of Howard Moskowitz, that in embracing the diversity of human beings, we will find a sure way to true happiness. Thank you.